endocrine pancreas as an endocrine structure. How does it function and what is its structure? As far as its structure is concerned, it is not like pituitary gland, which can be which can be divided histologically. It is not like uh, like thyroid gland, which can be distinguished what the parathyroid parathyroid cells are the group of the cells. They can be distinguished uh, histologically. Here, these cells they you cannot you cannot partition these cells. No, these are present here and there, like uh, these are what the SNI, these are the SNI. The singular is what? SNS. SNS. Okay? Well, so here and there, here and there are present the group of the cells which constitute the, the, the structures, which form the structures producing enzymes. And these are what the, these are the exocrine structures named as SNI. The others are, are iron-like cells, group of cells, and these are known as what islets of Langerhans, after the name of discoverer of these islets. These islets consist of different types of the cells. Major types are, are what three? I will I will tell you people the fourth group as well type as well afterwards. Well, the first type is what alpha cell, the second is what beta, beta cells. cells, and third beta type is what delta cells. delta cells. The alpha cells, they they produce what? Glucagon. What? Beta, beta, cell. beta cells, they it's produce it's insulin, it's and delta cells, they produce fatistat. Okay. Now, let us let us start with understanding the functions of of, uh, of these secretions, these hormones. The when there is when there is a high higher level of uh, glucose in in the blood in the blood vessels in our circulation, this condition is known as what hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia. During hyperglycemia. There are there are different disorders which 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 the body of an individual do suffer. The major is what the major is what when there is hyperglycemia hyperglycemia the the it, 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 it remains consistently what happens the blood pressure is increased. When there is low low level of sugar in blood that condition is known as what hypoglycemia and this is this is what the the optimum level of sugar when there is optimum level of sugar the person is is having the happy health okay he is he or she is having what the happy healthy life the when there is there is a uh, uh, suppose we, we suppose that there is hypoglycemia. What sort of the enzyme? What sort of the chemicals? What sort of the messengers would be activated? Suppose there is hyperglycemia. There is higher level of glucose in in blood. Insulin would be insulin would be secreted in response to what certain hormones hormones which come from what which come from your brain and then pituitary gland and then to 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 your to your what iris and diagonals. So those cells which are known as beta cells they would be activated and during hyperglycemia and insulin would be produced. What is the function of insulin? Insulin activates a battery of enzymes. It activates the battery of enzymes which are meant a group of enzymes which are meant for two major functions. One function is what? One function is what? The breakdown of glucose into pyruvate. The breakdown of glucose into pyruvate. Okay? In this way, what? Those enzymes which initiate the process of glycolysis, those enzymes are activated. Okay? The second type of the enzymes, major enzymes, are those which convert glucose, which convert glucose into glycogen. So in this way, 
glucose is is stored in some stored house where where glucose can be dumped for some 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 time when it would be needed then it would be taken taken up taken back well that is what the second group is what those enzymes those enzymes which convert glucose glucose molecules free glucose molecules into what glycogen you know glycogen is a branched storage carbohydrate that is stored in the liver and your muscles that is stored in the liver and your muscles well in this way either by conversion of glucose into part of it or conversion of glucose glucose into what glycogen in in both the ways what happens blood glucose level comes to what optimum level a person becomes again happy when there is low blood glucose level the person suffers from grim grim condition he or she suffers from a sadness condition weak he sub he or she is a feels weakness okay in that condition what happens physiologically uh, a hormone is produced that is what glucose that hormone brings back brings back what glucose from your muscles or from yes. your liver from your muscles or from your liver what happens <coughs> sorry glycogen glycogen is taken back that is broken down that is hydrolyzed that is hydrolyzed into what glucose glucose molecule free glucose molecule as those free glucose molecule get into blood vessel the optimum level is achieved again okay so in this way uh, the the optimum level of glucose is achieved by what the function of glu glucagon and insulin this is this is what being carried out what the endocrine pancreas or islets of glycogen yet there is another function of endocrine pancreas at, 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 at the moment we are studying what the functions of structure and functions of what endocrine pancreas the third function third major function is is what that of the delta cells the delta cells produce a hormone named as what somatostatin 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 okay somatostatin somatostatin that that is meant for what that is to to neutralize that is to neutralize the function of growth hormone or somatotropic hormone what if that hormone keeps on what will happen you would become alchanna or you would become what kali or you would become the person like like the bad sumro and so on okay so spatostatic hormone spatostatic hormone or spatostatin that is meant for what keeping the static dynamic condition okay okay right. so here is what the function of uh, of what on the other what the iris and lower hand are endocrine pancreas now there is a short a short thing to be discussed here here is suppose this is what insulin molecule insulin molecule that comes that comes to what a receptor molecule this is what receptor molecule that receptor activates what the g protein what the g protein molecule g protein activates what second messenger suppose that is what uh, that is ib3 that is ib3 okay that would that would activate what that would activate suppose 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 another another messenger that would be what that would convert atp into what atp cyclic 
cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP may activate an enzyme. An enzyme. Okay. And a casket, here is what suppose I, I suppose that this is an enzyme, this is a globular structure of enzyme. And it is activated and that it's a this is suppose it's a this is its active site. It is activated. Okay. So in this way, what happens? In this way, what happens? The a casket reaction occurs. First comes what messenger, and then the second messenger. The second messenger would activate an enzyme, and all these reactions to occur. So we call it what second messenger transduction pathway. Okay. Did you take all these points? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. We'll study inshallah on the next lecture, which is demanding. Best of luck.